Alright, Xavier, and welcome to a three and a half skull battle in the Highlands. This is where the satellite pictures showed the hostile lands touching down. Move up and make contact. Let's see what we're dealing with. Expect serious resistance. Oliveira out. Yep, yeah, right. Like serious here. resistance. Oh uh, yeah, apparently. Oh yeah, I got the I got the old crew back in town, guys. I'm in here. Uh, Miranda's here again. First time I've seen her since Liberation Panzer, I think. Uh, Jessica's here as well. Everyone's healed up. We got Decker here as well. Uh, so I gave Decker the Thunderbolt with the two particle cannons because he has breaching shots. So we can use uh, one on each one of the enemies every turn. Uh, Jessica. Has the Jaeger mech. First time I've ever used that. So she'll have apparently two AC2s and two AC5s uh, for some fairly decent accuracy. Uh, and then lastly, standing by. I got Miranda back in the Goliath. I don't think I've actually had Miranda in the Goliath since like the beginning of the game, but there she is again, which is fantastic. And then of course, I'm in the Vindicator uh, with one, two, three, four, five uh, medium lasers, short range missile, and yeah, looking good. All right, so. Let's start moving up with me, I suppose. I'll be like the de facto scout. Looks like the guys we want to kill are pretty far away. You know what? I kind of want to take the Highlands. I mean, we're in the Highlands, right? Let's take the Highlands into the Highlands, as they say. On my way. This shouldn't be too hard. They say expect heavy resistance, so I'm thinking like a Jenner and maybe a Locust. Maybe? Just, just one of each? That's it? That's my guess. I would like to actually see some legitimate resistance for once. Or maybe like, you know, 12 enemy mechs. That would be something. Uh, let's move up here with pretty much everybody. I don't really Watch think... I don't have any uh, missile boats this time around. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to have to get some direct line of sight and actually shoot at the enemies for once instead of just lobbing missiles over a hill and knocking them down constantly. Interesting. Why is the AI turn taking so long? Are they moving around? Do they have lots of guys? Like, what's going on here? I'm not not feeling confident about this. Let's move up here with myself. Pretty much everybody just Roger. move. Coordinates received. Oh, there that. we go. What do we got? One? Ooh! It's either a vehicle or an assault mech. It's one of those two. Yes, Commander. It is one of those two. I don't see any re I have tons of evasion right now, so I don't see any reason to do anything but resurf. Let's see what they're going to have here. So on the three initiative, it looks like they had something, but I didn't see anything move. They must have had at least some unit, though. Let's reserve again on two. And they must be moving something else. What the heck? Enemy detected. That's a vehicle. All right. Uh, I guess. What is this down here? That's on a two. Interesting. Well, at this point, we can't do any more reserving, so I probably want to keep myself in a half decent position with some cover and some evasion. Actually, I just want some evasion. Let's move down here and look down the street. Ah, now we're talking. We got a mech over there, a vehicle, a vehicle, a vehicle. Fascinating. That's what they're going to have out there then. All right. Well, I could sensor lock one of these. Which one, though, is the question? Well, kind of depends. What do you guys think I'm most likely to be able to target? The mech is behind a hill. These are all behind a hill. I suppose this is the only thing I could sensor lock and potentially shoot. So let's do exactly that. Sensor lock on target. What do we got down there? Oh, I just saw some other guys over to the right just now. I didn't know those were there. Interesting. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Okay, enemy just sensor locked me. We got two mechs over here. I had no idea. None. Zero. I didn't know those were there at all. All right, well, I got vision on that. What is this? This is a demolisher that has two AC-20s. All right, well, they weren't kidding Commander. about stuff happening right now. Can we get anywhere where we might have line of sight here with Jessica? Of course not. Why would we have line of sight from anywhere? All right. What's up, boss? For the first time ever... Uh, I actually can't get vision on anyone anywhere for any reason. Hmm. Well, that's going to be far less than ideal then. I suppose we'll just move down in the forest and look around. No line of sight. I thought, hmm, I'm just so used to having missiles. But nope. 
No anything. I guess we'll just go on... Uh... Oh, I could sensor lock over here, I suppose. Not that it's going to make much difference, because I, I would know what's out there, at least. But then again, I could also just brace, because they're going to come up and take some shots. Should I do that, or should I do another... Sen well, I don't even have the range to do the sensor lock, so we'll just brace. All right. Oh, I didn't know their mech. I thought their mech already went. What the hell? It's an Atlas, though. What the hell? How did we go from... I just did a three-skull difficulty mission with a freaking Jenner and, like, a Griffin, and that was it. And now I'm suddenly fighting demolishers and who knows what else and multiple things on the screen... And an Atlas? Okay, four medium lasers, AC-20, LRM-20, SRM. Boy, I would love me one of them. Woo, that thing's huge. Good to go. All right, well, in that case, can we move up here and get line of sight on it? We sure can with Jessica, and that's good odds, too. Let's do exactly to that. Boy, that thing, I have no armor now, and no evasion, and I'm standing in the open against a million enemies. Luckily, the Atlas goes, like, way at the end. This is suddenly super interesting. Wow. Uh, what should I do? Let's look at the armor of this thing. 102 armor. 102, 105, 160, 107, 80 in the torsos. AC-20 heat sink. Oh, there's, that's it. Left torso. That's what I want to do. I think the precision strike is a go here. Left torso, 29% with everything we've got. Whoa, whoa, what's the, what's the odds here? I didn't actually see. Hold on. What the heck's going on? 60, 60, 80, 80. So if I do precision strike and I have... Okay, 80, 80, 90, 90. All right. Left torso then 29. Yeah, it wasn't showing before. That's really strange. But regardless, here we go. Precision right into that torso and hopefully expose that ammo rack for somebody. First ever time I'm using a Jaeger mech and I'm using it against an Atlas with... J what, 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 what has happened? It's like we've time jumped two years in the future. Oh, Bye! Really? 13, miss, 18, 18. Well, that could have been a hell What's of a lot thought? better. Uh, we definitely want to stay put here with Miranda, but we also don't want to stay put with Miranda. Um, what kind of odds do I have? Nothing. If I move up here, will I have any odds? Yes, a fair bit. We'll also have the trees. We'll have the Goliath. Uh, I won't need to do much, though. Let's turn over, like, this direction. Affirmative. If I do much, I mean, I won't need to pop my Vigilance, I don't think. I know I'm losing the Bulwark here, but now we're getting in range to do all our, do all our SRMs. I kind of want to do Precision Strike. Oh, they still have high spirits. God, that buggy, buggy nonsense. Ah, I hate that. 29%. Let's go for it. Fire! Nice. Structure exposed. Lost evasive. He looked like he took a beating there. What do we got over here? Two medium mechs, it looks like now. Oh, taking a shot at me. I'm just standing there. I'm not even in cover or anything. Oh, God. Oh, God. What if, where have I... Damage minimal. Why? Why? Okay, my turn. Who goes next? Other mech out here. I don't know what it is. Wow. This is suddenly... Why wasn't the game like this 10 hours ago? All right. Uh, that mech goes, and I need to get out. So, probably going to jump. I have no heat to worry about. I do, however, have a million and a half lasers. Can I jump up, Peter, and get five evasion? Sure can. And from there, have an awesome shot? Sure can. Let's do exactly that. Angle ourselves towards everything. I doubt it'll bother to shoot me. Now, I should have a lot less morale. Should have, like, zero morale. Even though I want to use a precision strike right now. But I kind of can't. If I want to try to try to not cheat. Uh, that being said, I'm just going to go for regular shots. All 75s. Look at that right there. That ammo. Oh, I would love to shoot it with an ammo rack. Yeah, I should have like 7% morale, I think. God, this is so confusing. The morale bar being in a percentage of 50. But also me having all of these like bugged out. Or, or one might say glitched high spirits. <laughs> Fire! Engaging target. <laughs> Ooh, shooting an atlas. Not going to do very much to it, though. God, it looks so cool. Oh, never mind. I did a lot to it. Hey, buddy. Got a headache? All right. What do we got over here now? I'm engaged. Last few missions, I've been kind of like, Enemy sensor lock detected. 
All right, that guy moved up and sensor locked. Okay, and he sensor locked on, I think, me. Yeah, so I went from five to three evasion. Order. And now it's Miranda. Following Miranda, we actually have these little vehicles down here that are crazy, like crazy, crazy, but also the Atlas is on the ground, so my best chance here to do some good stuff is just right now. Right now. Did I say Jessica? I meant Miranda. I think I said Miranda. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go for this torso. 28%. We got 85, 80, 80, 80. This is a really good opportunity here to wreck this thing. If we take it down, the LRM-20 and the SRM-6 are gone, and we have three potential ammo racks in there. Go for it. Go for it, Miranda. Locking on target. Now or never. All right, well. Whoop, LRM-20, quit, crit. I think I hit something good. That was it, though. Okay. Uh, another Mac of Peters out there. That one is new, and it goes during the two initiative. So that must be a heavy. So we got an assault, a heavy, and two mediums with a company of vehicles on top. Waiting for wow. Word. What happened? What happened? This game suddenly just went crazy. It's like, here, have some enemies. Why don't you? Where's our um, decent odds here? In fact, first of all, what's our odds from here? Actually, our odds from here are fine, and we're in the forest, but I don't know if I want to do that. I think I do want to do this. It's too good to not do it. Oh, center torso. No, don't kill the mech. I just want to blow off its arm. Let's, let's go. A called shot, 28%. Well, we have the opportunity here with Jessica. Take off that Firing Atlas's arm. Ooh, 33, 33. Medium laser crit, 18. Oh, more where that came from. We may have hit it in the center torso, though. I would really prefer to capture that. <laughs> oh God, shots on me. One hit for 18, tons of missiles. Lots of hits. Lost my evasion completely, which is super bad. Now when I say it's super bad, I don't mean it's good. I mean it's really super bad because this Atlas is about to stand up. I'm gonna be in front of it and I am not braced, and I am very unstable, so... Wow, these mechs with their support fire here. Where can I go with Decker to get some unobstructed shots? Well, the answer here looks to be... As far as I can tell, nowhere. Okay, what if I were to jump? I don't really want... Well, we can't even... We can jump even less... Oh, actually right here. Apparently is unobstructed. I can just move there. No. So it's obstruct. Okay, look at this indicator. It's obstructed if I move here. But if I jump here, it's showing me I'm not obstructed. Okay, I feel like I'm just uncovering bugs left and right. Because, uh, I don't know. Which one is it? If I jump there, will I not? I don't know. All right, well. Why don't I try jumping there and seeing if I'm obstructed? Abide. Weird. And odds are, no, I'm not obstructed as far as I can tell. Hold on, but we have these particle cannons are super accurate, though. Can we see what their odds are if I click on the fire button? 95, 95, long range inspired weapon. Yeah, not obstructed. Interesting. Why would it be not obstructed if I jumped there, but if I moved there, it was obstructed? Strange. Uh, center torso, 95. But still, that stupid left torso is at six hit points. Why can't we just take it off? Take it off. Heat sink, heat sink, medium laser. LRM, SRM, all his ammo. Great. That'll take care of, like, half the stuff. But we still have to worry about that AC-20, which is presumably, yep, in the other torso. All right, well, if I actually hit the center torso twice, he'd die. Maybe this is not the time to try to capture an Atlas because we're a little bit outgunned with a lot of stuff going on the screen. So let's just go 50% set our torso and just try to blow it up. If we hit both of these in 95 times two and then both of that times 50, we'll be in business. We will be in business. Come on, Decker. Targeting Double particle, get it through a forest. Don't know what the hell happened. Medium laser destroyed though. Critical hit, Commander. Beautiful shot. <laughs> and now the Atlas stands up or not quite yet. All these vehicles are going to come out and shoot me with their AC-20s. Oh, God. Oh, God! 75-75! And I'm on the ground! 
I just got out of the med bay after three months, and now I'm going right back in. And let's also pay attention to the fact that there's multiple vehicles here and an Atlas who can now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next campaign. Ooh. Oh, boy. Well, there goes me. I had five evasion and cover when I jumped there. Five and cover. Five and cover, mind you. Waiting for orders. Wow. That is some frigging ridiculousness. Okay. Well, we got all kinds of shots on this Atlas. I'm probably just going to take them. That ace, double AC 20. How the heck? All right. We got to... Okay. Yeah, I think if we just take this shot, any one of these hits, basically, in the center torso, and we win. We have enough morale to do it, too, if I want to do a precision strike and just get the Atlas off the table right now. Let's go for it. 33% fire. Target confirmed. See you later, buddy. I would have liked your mech. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But target neutralized. You're going to kill me, I'll kill you. Is this another one or is this I've been sensor locked. I know, they're always sensor locking. What are these things? Well, they're shooting 22, 22, 12. Ah, well, oh my it. God, now Miranda's injured. Oh boy. What even are these things? I can't even see them. They're doing all these sensor lock shenanigans. Ready for orders. I don't have time for this. If I move down here, am I going to die like instantaneously? Will I have line of sight if I move here? Yes. All right, let's do that. Uh, we'll look up in this sort of direction. We'll figure out, well, that thing's in a forest. Maybe I should, no. I need to f mm, think, 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 think. Maybe I should actually try to kill the vehicle. Didn't the vehicle have like 300 armor though? But Decker does have double particle cannons, but that still won't kill it. I do have a ton of morale from killing that Atlas. So I could move up, get a little bit of forest, get some evasion. Unfortunately, none of these can see. The only part that can see it is no cover. And I feel like I need some cover, so... We're gonna move down here, I guess, and that... Moving out. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Oh, yep, it was a Jaeger mech. Okay. Okay. Interesting. 95-95. I could ignore the cover of it if I were to wait. It's too late now. I already moved. But if I had another target and I could split the target with multi-target, we could get two breaching shots with the particle cans. Should have thought about that and waited. But, uh, God, whatever. Let's just take the shots. 295, double particle cannons. Hey, Jaeger mech. Enjoy. Nice. Hit the right arm there. I don't know where the other one hit. Maybe torso. Another mech? Uh... What? Waiting for orders. Is happening. What kind of shots do we 80, 80, 90, 90 from where we are with Jessica. Why don't we move a little bit just to get some more evasion? That'll give us Moving also all 90s. That Jaeger mech, boy. <laughs> Jaeger mech on Jaeger mech action here, guys. <gasps> I have full morale bar. Is it time for a precision strike on the Jaeger mech? Oh, I think so. But where do I want to shoot it? Um, center torso? No. Is it ammo? Yes, AC5 ammo. There we go. As always, 29. Center torso. Come on, Jessica. Fire! Okay, we hit it quite a bit there. It's unsteady, but who cares, right? What is this? Quick draw. Oh, God. Double AC-20 vehicle. Well, at least they're falling back now that they've... Oh, no! Jesus! Hit for 50 and 50 on Miranda there. Why is that thing so big? It looks even bigger than this double AC-20. What could that... Oh, God. It's the particle sniper! Double particle... Ah! Triple particle cannons! What? Blown past my armor. What is this battle? 
Yes, Commander. What is this battle? What is this? Okay. Let's move over here, turn back, give these guys our left arm again, not that I really want to. Got it. Oh my lord. Um, do I want to pop Vigilance? I think I actually need to, to get rid of the evasion, or to get rid of the stability here. Fantastic. I am just blowing through everything right now. What do we got in this Jaeger mech? Odds of killing this guy with a precision strike? Maybe good? I don't know. Fine. Fighter, precision strike, torso! 29%! Miranda, please! Okay, laser crit, but otherwise he's still standing. That hit something good. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. Whew. Just massively delayed reaction there. Okay, well, that was my turn. What the heck is this now? A thunderbolt? Damn it. Wounded. What? Now Decker has a I'm headshot, too? Fire. Um. Is it even possible for me to win this? Or am I just wasting time here? How does withdrawing work? There was an atlas though. I might be able, if I might be able to do like a fighting retreat. I go and then they go. Who goes next? Probably all these vehicles. Okay, but not the Jaeger mech. We could take that down. As long as I keep doing, like, sneaky shenanigans, of which I don't really have any sneaky shenanigans to do. You know what? I think I'm going to at least stay a little bit longer and see what the result is here. Maybe I can bait these vehicles to drive down, and then we just go stomp on them with Miranda, but I don't I don't know. I'm going to give it a little bit longer and see. We got 90, 90, 90, 90 here. Let's go for it. 28% torso for, like, the 400th time. Please, for the love of hash browns. Jessica, kill it! Miss! Left torso destroyed, pilot injured, left arm destroyed. Alright, well, that was at least some damage there. One of these guys is gonna go. Go now. Okay, good. Have we seen what this is already? Okay, well, what? Got a lock on me. I wasn't expecting having any evasion anyway. Standing by. Alright, Decky, you're just out of control right now in terms of zero stability. Can we fall back and still target that guy? We sure can. All right, let's do exactly that then. Exactly that. Just the further we fall back, the better, in my opinion. Uh, now, I want to do... What's the Jaeger mech? Center torso, 63. All right, if I call that and we shoot it twice in the center torso, we could kill it. However, I don't get my breaching shots on all these guys, but do I even care at this moment in time? Mm, not particularly. I think I just need to finish this guy up. So let's go over here. 95, 95. Let's pray Decker can pull off two 50s right in the center. Come on, Decker. Come on, Decker. Hit them both. Hit them all. He's down. Yeah. Hostile well eliminated. Boy, this is some brawling right here. Okay, quick draw. Sup? Taking a shot at Decker, are you, huh? Oh, no, actually, Jessica, I think you missed every one of those, oddly, even though she was just standing there. Okay, that was bad. Maybe, maybe they hit. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. Okay, the vehicles I need to get away from. They don't seem to have missiles, so there's at least that. Oh, God. 50-50. Yeah, On Miranda's left arm. Fun. I don't know how she still has a left arm. Destroy enemy units, destroy enemy reinforcements. So I think the... Okay, I see what happened. I see what... Okay, another triple particle snipe. Left side. Somehow she still has an Damage arm. Minor, Commander. So originally, what was supposed to happen is I was supposed to fight an Atlas and these three vehicles. But then they're like, oh, hey, by the way, have a full lance as reinforcements. That's crazy. You either, either fight one group of guys or two groups of guys. Standing by. 
All right, so she goes first, and then we have this Thunderbolt. We got everything's in cover, and everything has all this stuff, too. How is she doing? Both of her arms are nearly gone. Both of them. Can I jump on top of it? No, I can't jump on top of a vehicle. That's insane. Who even thinks these things? I'm thinking I'm going to have to jump away from the vehicles, though, like down in this little gully here. Um, and then we can probably fire everything at one of these guys. Which one of it is it that goes? This one, the Thunderbolt. Okay, I could wait for the Thunderbolt to move. But in so doing, if he fires, I may actually lose my arms. So maybe I want to jump out of the way and then lay into him with everything I've got. And maybe that'll do something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Okay, let's jump down here. Woo! This is getting crazy. It's getting crazy. We've got cover, but do I want to do vigilance? Maybe. I realize I'm using, like, all my cheeky, uh... High spirit stuff when I really shouldn't be, but whatever. 70, 60, 60, 60. If I don't use it, we've got 50. Okay, so that's basically plus 15%. So many medium lasers. Let's just do a regular shot here. I don't think I really need um, to call this shot for any good reason just yet. This is going to put us right to the threshold of overheating. He barely does anything to that guy. All right, this one's going to come up now. Jump into the streets. Shoots Jessica quite a bit, which is actually okay, because Miranda's more hurt right now. Uh, You're all right. You're all right. Don't worry. Everyone just get out of the med bay. Don't worry. Commander? Plenty of bunks for all of you when we're done here. <laughs> all right. So, vehicles are going to go soon. Decker needs to do, like, this, like, fighting retreat kind of move. But I also really need to keep evasion up. I additionally, if I fire both shots, okay, we're, we're, we're fine on the heat as long as I don't jump. I kind of want to jump, though. I'm not going to use a precision strike. I could use a vigilance, but then we'd be out of morale. If I could shoot both of them, I mean, or alternatively, I could just shoot twice at this one guy down here. 295s, I mean, that's pretty good. We could also call that shot if I really wanted to. Why would I want to do that? Um, not any good reason, really. No. So we're looking at his left torso. That's not where he keeps stuff that's useful to us. Reaching shot's probably better because it's more damage because they're both in cover. But if I jump, though... No, I can only jump, like, two feet. So let's try to move... If there's a place I can move to that's not going to give me some stability... Oh, am I going to get st stability for even moving? Really? Huh. Should I just stand here and let Decker take a few hits? I think so. Everyone else already has uh, quite a few, quite a bit of damage. Let's do a multi-target. We'll get breaching shot on both of them. We're going to go one over here. Fantastic. One over there. Fantastic. 95, 85. You know what? Actually, let's switch that around. Because then we'll get a 90-95. A beautiful Decker fire! Multiple enemies locked in. Reaching shot. Hit for 50. That's what I like to see. Once again, Thunderbolt. Beautiful. Hit for 50. Two less evasion. 100 damage. Every round, I'm going to have to put out an insane amount of damage if I'm going to win this somehow. Oh, hey, Jaeger Mac. I didn't realize they had another one. I guess I never saw this. <laughs> Structure exposed! at 700 missiles now hitting Jessica. Can't take many more hits like that. Yeah, stability is definitely an issue here. Meanwhile, he also multi-targeted on Decker. What? And triple multi-targeted on Miranda. How many guns does this Jaeger mech have? Wow. Waiting for orders. And this is our last move before the vehicles. Wow. Wow. Evasive movement. This unit generates an extra evasive charge for movement. Okay. <sighs> what about down here? We can probably rip this guy's arm off, but what the heck good is that? I mean, well, what good is anything right now? <laughs> like, 
where can we move to get some evasion up here? Could I turn around and still focus fire everybody? Yes. Are we going to be okay with armor? Yeah, I think so. Let's go for it. On my way. I want the evasion and the cover. I want to fall back as well. Try to get away from these vehicles. They may actually have shots in there. We're kind of opening ourselves up almost to the flank, but not quite exactly. I'm thinking all four shots in the quick draw. We got full on 90s here. Let's try to take at least one thing down. Go for it. Okay. And that's the turn. Quick draw is going to jump over here. Shoot a Decker. 18, 18, 18, 18. A bunch of missiles. Not much armor left in that location. Come on, vehicles. B line of sight hacked. Nice. 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 Okay, so that strategy is sort of working. Slowly. Orders. Meanwhile, we're at maximum heat here with Miranda. Could I actually run up there and smash this guy? I could. But then her left arm, which is weakest, by the way, is exposed to all of that stuff. And why would I even want to do this? Because this guy... I mean, I guess if I did do it, he would lose his evasion. Then I could kill him. So there's that. And I could put myself in brace uh, with vigilance. But then all of those shots from those vehicles, oh god, that is going to be so painful. She could actually lose her torso, but you know what? Center torso will be fine. All right, we're going to do this. I'm going to pop the Vigilance. I'm going to go straight in, and we are indeed going to melee this quick draw. Alternatively, could I jump on his head? Uh, no, can't quite get there. Yeah, we're going to go for this. I want to knock his evasion out, and he's going to go unsteady in a second. And we're going to have the... Uh, the guard mode up anyway so here we go cross the street friends cross the street we got places to beat hey buddy okay i thought she was gonna punch but she went for the fake out kick there destroyed a heat sink and then shot him as well fantastic and he is now completely sitting there in the open like a doofus meanwhile thunderbolt moves up probably gonna shoot decker 1818 so many missiles. That Jaeger mech is the worst, though. That's way, much more of this. way stronger than all the other ones I've fought, as far as I can tell. Uh, Decker, Commander. what can, what actually can you do? Two particle cannons. Or, good to go. or I could move down here, and we got four shots with Jessica. That would be perfect. I think that's what we need to do. Uh, could I actually move up here and get the same sort of thing? Sort of. Let's just keep going. Okay, not quite. Let's here's here's the best of all. Let's go for got it. it. How much morale we got? 32. We can do a precision strike if I really wanted to. Ooh, and I do want to. Let's just blow it. Blow all the precision strikes, friends. Right there on the quick tron, on the torso. So many things here to destroy. It's ridiculous. Definitely want to do that. Fire! Got it. Fire! Torso destroyed, knocked down, pilot injured, pilot injured again when it falls down. Thud. Beautiful. That also knocks it into, I think, the next thing back. Oh, God, here's the Jaeger mech, though. This is so terrifying. What's it going to do? It ran it's away. Sensor, lock on sensor locked. Thank God. Waiting for order. All right, after Decker goes, we got vehicle, vehicle. One of those vehicles. Oh, God. Ah, that's the noise I make when I'm confident. All right, now, why do the hell do we have a back shot in that Jaeger mech? Boy, I want to take that. I mean, I'd have to move to get it. Could I actually move to get it, though? No. No, anywhere I go, I'm still going to be shooting in the side. So close, though. Well, not really. I'd have to be, like, way the heck over here to do this. Um, anyway... Obviously, the plan with Decker is we're going to shoot this quick draw on the ground. But where are we? Can we shoot it right now with everything and not overheat? No. I think we're going to have to overheat here because I need to kill this thing. Boy, even if I do hit it twice on the torso, we're not going to kill it. I guess I don't necessarily need to kill it. What about this one over here? He hits full health. What about the Jaeger mech? Full health. All right. Let's actually just shoot once, and I'm going to fall back someplace with Decker. Or I could jump. No, because he can't jump anywhere. 
Uh, I could move, like... He's kind of unstable as it is. Move over here. His right arm is weaker than his left, though, but hey, I think it's still worth it. Yeah, let's go for it. Move him back. Confirmed. Smidgen of evasion. A little bit of rough terrain, unfortunately. We'll just have both of, had to get through it eventually, so we got through it, I guess. And now I got the breaching shots if I wanted to split them. Which actually, even though this guy's on the ground, there's no sense of doing a cold shot because I can't blow anything up. Unless I got super lucky, I might be able to take his other arm off. No. Yeah, I'd have to hit both of them, and even then, 71. No, I couldn't because of the cover. So I think we're better off doing a multi-target for the breaching shot here. Definitely one on the quick draw. Do I want to shoot the Jaeger, or do I... No, I think the Jaeger's the bigger threat, because we haven't even touched this Thunderbolt yet. And that thing's got a bunch of lasers and missiles, but the Jaeger mech, on the other hand, is terrifying. He's got so many things. All right, so let's split one shot up over here. Becker? Oh, I can't take the shot. Never mind. Okay, we'll do one over here then. We'll take the 90 and the other ones. All oh, right, I forgot, I forgot about the overheating. All right, never mind. God. Lots of stuff happening. Let's call off this one and we'll try to cool down a little bit. I suppose I'll go for the center torso while we have an opportunity. Fire. Firing on target. Hit for 50. Here we go. Good luck, Miranda. Good luck. Good luck. Sensor locks from that vehicle. The demolisher actually line of sighted himself and sensor locked. Lucky, lucky, ducky. Quick draw is going to stand up now and jump for a fl- Oh, Watch you. You little cheeky bugger. Hits for 50 damage in the back of Miranda. That's actually okay because I think she had more armor in the back than the front at that point. Meanwhile, a little bit of the old Shrek particle triple cannon. Oh yeah, 25, 25, left arm destroyed. I did anticipate that happening. Surprised it didn't happen like five rounds ago. Commander. Now. Obviously, we've got to move with her. The question is where and what for. Ooh, actually, could she go? She could, I think, go melee that thing. Now, her melee is 85. Uh, as people have told me, you do double damage with melee against vehicles. So that would be 170. That would be enough to kill this thing anywhere she goes. But then she'll be in the open massively with her back exposed to everybody. However, her back armor is not that terrible. Who goes after this? This guy. Just shoot her right in the back. Right in the back. Oh, God. What does he have? F a ton. This is my opportunity. That's my opportunity right there to kill that triple particle cannon. But I can't take it. I can't take it. She does have at least a decent amount of SRMs. I think we're going to have to move back as much as we can. Okay, that's not going to work because we can't see anything. Can we move? Oh, yeah. Back across the street will be a good... Bloody hell. I can't get a shot over there. What about here? Nope. Here? Yeah, just short. Okay, what if I were to jump? Ah, yes. Perfect. We'll do this and we can see basically everybody. Roger perfect. That. I like how this guy... We're doing like leapfrog on the street here. This guy jumped over me. I jumped over him. Uh, we got lots of shots here, but a little bit of overheat. You know what? We can shut off that small laser. I don't really super need that one. Uh, but this... Actually, you know what? Why don't we shut off the large laser at that rate? Because we have a higher chance to hit with the small laser, and it does uh, the same damage. So, yeah, it'll just be cooler. And then otherwise, we're looking at the back shot here. 59. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of SRMs. Let's go for it. We'll give them all you've got. Locked on rear Come on, armor. Miranda. Fire! Again, not enough! Not enough! Thunderbolt, what are you doing? Taking a shot at Decker. Right arm destroyed. We didn't need that arm. Just one less particle cannon. We, we couldn't use it anyway. It was so hot. It was so hot in here. Commander? Oh, my God. All right. I actually want to move closer to these vehicles so I could potentially get up there and melee them soon. So I'm thinking of moving down here um, with Jessica. Coordinates received. We're about to lose our torso, too. Bloody hell. 
And this guy is actually kind of getting a little hot there, that Thunderbolt. What's the damage on this quick draw? We're looking at 54. All right, well, let's lay into him and just pray we get torso shots and kill him right now. I suppose. I could also multi-target, but I don't see the value in that just yet. Let's just take something down, please. Please. Yes. Woo. All right. Oh, no. Now the Jaeger Met isn't going to go run away and be an idiot. He's going to actually do something this time. Reaching shot. Yeah. That was an insane amount of stability damage on Decker. That shot got past my armor. Yeah, he, he's going to do triple shots, isn't he, on everybody. Yep. 18, 18 on Jessica. Bunch of missiles as well. And then he's also going to shoot Miranda. Yes, Commander. Okay. Is there any chance I can even pull this off? I mean... So what's the Thunderbolt doing? He's just melting a little bit. I've obviously, obviously, I've got to move away. The Jaeger mech's the bigger threat. There's no place I can move to with a point of evasion and still get a shot. Ooh, no. Could move over there, though. No. I gotta go someplace. I, I might have to pop Vigilance here if we're gonna run away. Our entire right side is just horrifically broken. Hmm. We do get the breaching shot. What should I go at? I think I need to go crush all three of these vehicles at the same time. So, I think my plan is actually I run down here, get one evasion, give the vehicles my left side with Decker. At least we have some forest. Move so that these guys also kind of maybe a little bit have his left side. And then we'll take a shot, I suppose, at the Thunderbolt because we're going to have an obscure... Skirmit on the Jaeger mech. That Jaeger mech's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. 95 over... No, it's 95 either way because there's a particle plus plus. Oh, God, we lost our particle plus. Well, this thing's out of control right there. Out of control right there. Thunderbolt, on the other hand, also out of control. I guess I'm going to go for that, though, because we might be able to line of sight the Jaeger when we go crush all these vehicles next turn. Let's go for it. Fire, Decker! It. Fire! No more talking! Okay, hit for 50. Beautiful. Reach right through that forest. All right, two vehicles down, but the third one's coming up. The triple particle, it's going for Jessica. 37, 37, 37. Left arm, right arm, right leg. It's actually not too bad, to be honest. Ready for orders. Miranda's turn. How far can she, she can come up here and melee this guy and we could toss up vigilance while we're at it. We need to do it. At some point, we've got to do it. Let's get down there. Let's start crushing these vehicles. I think we're going to come from this direction, though. Give her left side to those and her right side to these. Let's make sure this is going to work here. Yes, it is. 100%. Well, actually, no, 95%. Please, not a repeat of last time, Jessica. <laughs> Please, no repeat. Just crush. Crush. What are you going? No, it's over here. Thank God. It's go time. Oh, my Lord, Reporting. that thing. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Alright. We're gonna have the Thunderbolt jump jet away, which is probably gonna turn himself he's gonna turn himself off, I think. Bunch of shots here on the right side of Jessica. That's fine. We lost one evasion pip. No, actually he's not overheated. Interesting. And now we have Good to go. Did I say Jessica I keep getting them confused. Oh my god. We can't crush these guys. Demolisher, demolisher, two of them. We have four AC twenties coming in here in two seconds. Is there some place we could get that we could shoot one of them? I doubt it. Wow, look at the stability. Look at the dam structural damage here. Wow. That is some craziness. Well, we could move up here. No evasion. Move over here. No good. Yeah, we're going to lose. Her entire right side is terrible. 
We may have to give these guys her left side and then shoot one of them. I'm not even sure who we would shoot because the Thunderbolt's got all manner of cover and evasion. And the Jaeger mech's just sitting there looking pretty. I mean, what the heck? Morale 72. I could also run down into the street. And where... There we go. There's like one tile I can half see a vehicle. Who goes after we go? Vehicle, vehicle, and then we've got the Jaeger mech. I honestly feel like killing the vehicle is the best thing I can do with our turn right now. Ah, right there. We can see it, but we'll be in the open. Here we can see it with two evasion, but we'll be unsteady. Can't do that one. We gotta come here, I think. I may need to pop vigilance for this. Very limited uh, areas of targeting. We'll have to go like this, I suppose, so we can see that one over there. I am definitely gonna have to pop vigilance because we're in the open. And Jessica's not looking strong right here. 2018. This is horrific. Pump the Vigilance. Beautiful. Let's actually take down the Demolisher, because I don't want that thing killing Miranda here. Uh, what is it going to take to kill the Demolisher is the question. 50, 60, 70, 86. That's going to be 105. Well, I'm gonna have to, it's going to take everything, then. It's going to take everything. I may even want to call this shot. Nah. I'm not sure. I don't actually think we can kill it unless we get really lucky and we hit every shot. 86. Um, if we hit the two AC fives in the in the ones in one side, we could kill it. Not in the front though. This is going to be rough. Uh, okay. Well, let's just lay into it and pray for luck. I don't think it's worth the precision strike, or is it? Let's see what the odds are actually on the vehicle precision strike. 52% in the front. 44 in the side. That would be what we really want to do. All right, let's, I'm actually going to do it, believe it or not. I want to take this thing down so Miranda stays afloat. She can go crush that other vehicle in the next turn. So quadruple 90s called shot on a vehicle with Jessica well vigilanced in the open on a hill after moving with both torsos, arm, and leg all beaten up. Come on! Come on, Jessica! No! Holy hell. All right, here comes the Jaeger mech. Please do a sensor target lock. That's a smart move, Jaeger mech. Back up and sensor lock. Nope. Shooting a Decker with a lot. Decker's okay. He just took like nine or so, maybe 12 structural armor damage. Breach. Don't know Zero where... Damage. Don't know where he has armor to even block these shots at this point. Now... Oh! Right yeah. armor and right I'm torso playing, destroyed on Jessica. Oh, so bad. Breaching shot over here in Miranda as well, but I think that was a miss. That Jaeger mech. That's how you kid a Jaeger mech. That Jaeger mech. Wow. Good to go. Okay, Decker. What's going on? <laughs> we can't kill either one of these guys with Decker. You know what we can do, though? Is we could probably kill ourselves a little truck, maybe. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, if we hit it. If we hit it in the front or the side, we'll kill it. But where can I get vision on it is the better question. Well... I want to run into the open like a maniac. I could do that right here. Oh my god, 93 on our center torso. I really want to have the cover. Could go here, but then it's behind us. Why can't I see it from up here? It's insane. Here I can see it. But then our entire right side is exposed, and that's the weak side. Um, I'm not going to have much choice here regardless, unless I can get a shot up here. That's the only place I can do it. Or I run down into the open. Like, <laughs> who the hell wants to be in the open? What is obscuring our shot right there? Nothing. Here, our shot's being obscured by something. I can't even tell what. Is it being obscured by Miranda? No. Alright, we have got to take down... Not that demolisher... This one, it goes next. I think this demolisher goes, and then that one goes. We've got to take it down. Right here, I suppose, is the best bet. Uh, we're going to run Decker really close here into, like, the most terrifying location I've ever seen. And pray to God this works somehow. I don't know how it's going to work, because we're standing in the open with, like, nothing but two evasion in front of two mechs who can get back shots on them. But we're going to take down that demolisher 95%. See you later, doofus. How do you like a particle cannon in your face, huh? One for the scrappy. 
Boy, I got wrecked so hard by that Atlas. All right, here comes the Demolisher. No surprises. It's going to shoot at Mar I think No, actually, it shot it. Whoa! Internal structure damage. 200 damage on Decker on the left torso there. 200. Receiving you. Holy mother of balloons, Batman. On the plus note, all the vehiculars are dead. Position it's official. But I mean, all of us are probably dead in two seconds. Crash. For good measure, just in case someone was trying to get out of there. You'd think, like, honestly, One the developers more. played their own game after the 430 second time that they, like, crushed a vehicle and then shot it after it was dead. They'd be like, hey, maybe we should disable shots after it's vehicles are destroyed. Nice, nice. This moron just jumped into the open, gave us his back for some reason, and sensor lock Miranda? Wait Thanks, AI! Way. Only way I could win this is if you went full retard, and guess what? That's exactly what you did. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We lost our AC5 and AC2 here with Jessica. We're gonna have to run into the open with just evasion. And we're gonna have to shoot this guy in the back. I don't have any other choice. It's that or nothing. I mean, there's nothing else to do here. How the heck is Decker even alive? Well, believe it or not, he's... How does he still have a particle cannon? Oh, it's in his left torso. Not for long, I'm sure. How is that torso not destroyed? That is crazy. All right, well, we're going to do this right here because it's all we've got. AC5, 65, 65. That is right in the back. No cover. Lots of evasion. Definitely, definitely going to use a precision strike here. No reason not to at this point. Uh, let's see what we can pull off. Uh, think, think, think. So it's got LRM. Where's the ammo? I'm gonna guess the other torso? No. Where did it put the... Oh, right in the center torso. Well, that's actually awful. All right. Um, so 68, 68, and 98. I suppose I should just go center mass for it then and try to take it out as fast as possible. 41%, center torso, go for it. Jessica, Thunderbolt in the back, 85, 85. Miss... Miss an 85 and then hit a 25. And the one you missed was the AC5, too, the one that actually does the damage. Here goes the Jaeger mech. This could literally be the end of Decker. Left torso oh, destroyed. He's not feeling good. That shot went internal. He's not feeling. Oh, he's knocked down, too. Decker, no. What's that, your third wounds? More missiles over here on oh, Jessica. Commander, I'm hit. You're okay. You're okay, Decker. It's okay. It's okay, Jessica. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Decker, you got one hit point. You. You're okay. Stand up, Decker. I don't know what you're going to do when you stand up because you have no weapons. Probably just leave. Actually, no. One more wound and you're dead. So it might be possible to go ram something. Um, okay, so I could sensor lock. And then Miranda and Jessica will go. What the heck does either one of them even have? Short range missiles, that would be useful over here. No, we're not going to get that on this, this doofus. So we'd shoot this guy a lot better there again with Jessica, but only with a little bit of damage. So if not the sensor lock, we've got a precision strike, we've got a vigilance. Can't do any shots. We can only melee, but we're not close enough to do that. Could we do a jump? and land on their head. Not anywhere near close enough to do that. I could move into the forest here with a Vigilance, and he may, as long as I don't give them my right torso, give them the left torso, he may be able to the next turn do a Death From Above with the Vigilance up in their face, and then simultaneously sensor lock this guy for Jessica to hit him in the back right now. I just got to give him not the right torso. I could also come over here and do that. I don't know where we'd go on the list of things on the next turn. Where would be the smart move to go? Probably wherever I can get one evasion. Here would be that. Right torso. Could I do this? And turn over? Yeah, I could turn over like this. My right torso will be completely hidden. We've got one evasion. Looks good. Let's go for a deck. You're not, you're not running out of here. 
You're not running out of here. You've got this. We're going to pop in a, a Vigilance now. Make it a little bit harder for them to actually take us down. Beautiful. Now we're going to pop a Sensor Lock because we don't have any other thing we can do on this Thunderbolt. Beautiful. Sensors locked on. Okay. Now. So the way this works is we've got Decker and we've got Miranda. And then one of them is going to go followed by Jessica. So what on earth can I do right now? I could move up here and get really close to this doofus. From there, our odds are 90, 90, 90, 90. What about here? It's actually worse. So here's probably where I want to go with Jessica. But, or Miranda rather. But once I get there, what about here? It's all, yeah, that's fine. And we'll be in the forest. Once I get Good there, what the heck do I do with Decker? What is death from above here? What does it actually do? It's 160 damage, but only a 70% chance to hit. <laughs> if he fights back and hits the torso, that's the end of Decker. Commander. Whoa, why would I want to do this? What does the death from above do? 80 stability damage. Death from above, 80. Why does it say 80 times 2 stability? 100, 160 damage. That is a lot of damage. If I could do that, run up with Jessica, we could actually shoot this with the missiles, knock it down from the stability from the missiles. That'll knock it back one here, and only this doofus would get a chance to go. Of course, that sensor lock would have been useless, but I think I actually have to do this. The question is, do I pop Vigilance with Decker? I mean, we're probably going to fall down once we do the death from above, because he's not... Actually, he does have good piloting, right? He's got sensor lock piloting, or... I can't remember. What, are the, what the heck are the skills in this game? So... I know there's guts. I know there's piloting. Piloting is definitely sensor. All right, he's got some sensor lock. So, well, could I like somehow just crush this guy completely? Yes, I could land on his torso, hit his ammo rack, and blow him up. <laughs> We're gonna jump an armless thunderbolt. Decker, if he goes out, it's gonna go out a hero. But should I use the vigilance? Because what happens if I land on my leg and destroy it? And then I'll just fall down and the Vigilance will be for nothing? Or how the hell does that work? I have no idea, but I want to at least try to keep Decker alive. At the same time, I might be better off... No, because Miranda might be better off doing a called shot with that Precision Strike. If we pop this Vigilance, we'll have zero. All right, you know what, Decker? We need you to just be a hero. Be a hero. We want your right torso not exposed to this guy as much as possible. We're going to do a Death from Above. Second time this campaign, I've tried to do it. It was a really dumb idea last time. Let's see if it's a dumb idea this time. Decker! Yeah! Death from above! Revelation! Right torso destroyed! Right arm destroyed! Right leg destroyed! Right torso destroyed! Pilot engine! What the hell kind of mess was that? Decker, no! Decker, no! Decker! Decker's down, guys! We may have lost Waiting him for, for good. Orders. We may have lost him. What a heroic move. Just rip the it ripped the long range missile, the medium laser, other long range missile, clear off that Jaeger mech and destabilize them to the max. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, Jessica, get on down there. Let's face all these guys. Before we do though, what side? 65 on your left torso. And the other ammo's in there. We probably don't want to give him that. Uh, yeah, let's give him your right torso as much as possible. So let's move down here as such. And we'll actually angle like this. So they're kind of shooting your right side. Looking good. Moving out. Guys, Decker may have just gone out a hero. An absolute hero. I don't know. We'll see after the battle here. Let's see what this Jaeger mech. We hit this thing once and it's on the ground. I can tell you that much. What about a laser? Yeah, we can definitely throw that in as well. If I do a called shot? Wow, it's got full. It's got full. Medium laser AC2. What about its other ammo ammo? That's what I really need to hit right there. Should I even bother with the called shot, or should I go for a vigilance while we're in the open? No, well, I guess we got cover, so we can probably suffice with that. I'm going to go for a precision strike. We're going to shoot the Jaeger mech. We're going to go for the torso, 29%. Highest odds. If we get, like, insanely lucky... 
maybe we can start to crit its ammo rag after we chew through 85 armor. Actually, no, it's in cover, so that's not going to happen at all. We will knock it down, though. Um, and then Jessica could follow up with a shot, maybe on the torso, and have it explode and kill it. So 29%. Here we go. Miranda. Fire. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Almost every single shot hit. Every missile hit. Knockdown. Bam. Jagermax on the ground. That's his second injury as well. All right, now we got this little quick draw. What's he going to do? Or Thunderbolt, rather. He's not even that little. He's a pretty serious business guy. He's going to shoot Jessica for 40. 25, 25. Bunch of missile. Oh, her left torso's down. Pilot injured. She probably has no more guns. Yeah, she's got no more guns then. Good to go. She's got no more guns then. She's got two wounds. This is not how you win this game. She can't do anything. Miranda can at least go after the Jaeger mech stands back up. Oh no. How will I win? She's got 45 in the center torso. After she's done, Jaeger mech stands up and it's going to kill her. It is going to kill her so badly. So badly, but there's nothing I can do. If I move up here and go in, in vigilance maybe... It'll be kind of hard for them to hit, and maybe the next turn I can go all hero mode again. I think we're going to do it, guys. We're committed to this. We are committed to this. Absolutely committed to this. I don't really need to do the vigilance, so I could just brace. Oh my god. This is insane. All right, here comes the Jaeger Mac. He's going to stand up now. He's lost a bunch of his weapons. Come on, Jaeger Mac. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Shot. Yeah! Evasion doing a foul roll in the open, Jessica. Heroic moves. Heroic moves. All right, we go. We go, and then the Thunderbolt goes. But we're okay. Standing by. Everything's okay. Definitely not having a hard time. All right. How the hell am I going to kill this little guy? Let's take a look again at the Jaeger mech. We're looking at 75 in the left torso. Okay. Okay, if I stand still, we get braced. Okay. Let's stand still. We're going to precision strike. We're going to precision strike the Jaeger mech with everything we've got in the left torso. 29% again. Again. Come on, Miranda. Confirmed. Come on. Learn it a lesson. Ammo rack crit or something. Nope, didn't even, didn't even get through the armor. Here comes a shot on Jessica. Hit for 20, 12, 12. Missiles? We're okay. Armor breach. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, Jessica, you've got this. Waiting for orders. Okay, what is she down to? 48. Legs, 60, 57, 69. No death from above. Melee by chance? No, no melee. We're nowhere near being able to melee this guy. Uh, what the heck do I even do with her, honestly, at this point? She's just like a target. She's literally just like a target. And that's okay, as long as we don't get killed. So let's run her someplace with as much evasion as possible. Like out here, as long as she's facing the right direction. Ah, like that. Yes, perfect. In the open, and we'll go for another brace. Three evasions, nothing to scoff at, guys. It's nothing to scoff at when you got 60 hit points. Pop a brace. Pop a brace. Okay, return fighter. Hit for 12 here on Miranda. That's fine. A brace just standing in the open. And there we go. Yes, Commander. Okay. I'm out of my uh I'm out of morale here, unfortunately. And it's looking like we're about to lose our left torso still. But we still have all our guns. This Jaeger mech is still sitting here. 57 on that stupid torso that I can't do anything about. I can't really do much here besides just shoot it and pray for luck. All right, guys. Full on 90. Full on 90. Fire! Come on, Miranda. Get some luck! Nice! We're finally chewing into it. Nice! That's the third one. Pilot injured. Please tell me he didn't have any guts. Damn it. He did. He's got four hit points. Thunderbolt, what are you doing? You're burning up, friend. You're burning up. Oh, he can't hit Jessica. He's trying. Two, 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 two. Who cares? That got through my armor, Commander. I know. What doesn't get through your armor when you have no armor? Commander? 
Okay, okay, we got this, guys. We've got this. No problem. Full-on skill is what we're doing here. What's our center? 36 on the torso. That thing goes down. That thing goes down, and I think Jessica's not long for this world. But we are braced repeatedly, so we could be okay. Let's try to move in such a way that only one of them could really see us. But still have three evasion if possible. Just kind of like distract. Move over here. No, that's useless. Move over here. No, the other one can... Well, the left side. That would actually be okay. We got this. There we go. Ultimate in the street tank distraction with Jessica. We have got this. Brace. We can't do this for much longer, though. Like, maybe one more round. Or maybe this is the last round. Oh, nice. Nice. Jaeger mech's going. He's taking the bait, guys. He's taking the bait. Hit for 25 on Jessica. Not bad. Not bad. We're alive. We're still alive. Oh, my God. How are we still alive? Miranda, it's your time to shine. Center torso, 96. 96. You could also melee him for 85. How would that help us? If you hit the legs, it doesn't. Hit the arm, it's dead. Hit the torso, it's dead. Hit the center torso, it's not dead. Unless we get a follow-up from the laser that makes it so it's dead. That could actually work. Stability, however... Um, what is the stability on the melee? It's 55. That's something, but it's not going to be enough. We're probably better off just shooting again. And we also have our right torso where we actually have some armor facing him. So this is not a bad idea. Let's just go for a cold shot, I think, with everything we've got. Assuming we can see it. Can we see him? Yeah, we can see him. Uh, precision strike. Center torso or not? 51 up here on this one, and that's the ammo. Okay, I think that's what we should do then. Let's go for the ammo. Ammo rack and just pray for, like, super awesome explosions, fun time, friends. Fire! 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 Yes! Left torso destroyed! Left arm destroyed! Pilot incapacitated! Take that, friend! Have some dirt for breakfast! Woo! Oh, you're noticing, you're noticing we're shooting your friends, are you? Please don't shoot Jessica. No! Hit for 2012 missiles! Don't kill her! No! Set her torso destroyed! I just wanted her to live! No! No, she's down! Oh, God. Good to go. Vengeance! Vengeance will be ours! Vengeance! We're gonna move right in the face of this guy. Actually, am I even gonna do that? Because what's my odds? 80, 70, 70, 70. We're actually fine where we are, and we're braced. Um, the thing is, though, should I precision strike? Yeah, I think so. Where should I go for? Wherever his ammo rack is. Where is the ammo rack? Heat sink, heat sink, heat sink. Laser, laser, laser. La there is a uh, center torso again. Yeah, already bloody hell. All right, well, he's got three lasers and the LRM-10 in the left torso. So if I take that down, we'll be looking good. Other stuff is just heat sinks and stuff. Yeah, so let's go for the left torso, 29%. Miranda, all you, all you. 90, 90, 90, 90. You really, really got to hit this guy pretty hard. Also, we're running out of missiles. 12. We get, like, only one more volley of missiles. I didn't think about that. Aye, aye. Huh. All right. This is going to be insane. I don't know how this is going to end. I think we're both going to run out of missiles. Oh, now he's running away. Elevation hit for 20. 12, 12, 12. Bunch of missiles incoming now. Okay. Two can play at that game. Ooh, he's overheated, though. Oh, God. I can't believe Jessica. Uh, I didn't really understand. She had two hit points, so I figured maybe if the center torso got destroyed, she'd just get wounded one more time and she'd still be alive, but I'd, I don't know. I guess you just straight outright die. Yeah, you get full injuries. Well, well someone's going to be dead then, either Decker or Jessica or both. Orders. But I'm, I'm, I'm winning this. This is getting won, guys. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are winning this. However, I can't take this shot because the odds are too bad. He's got too much evasion, and he's in too good of a spot with elevation. So I think my plan is, can I actually run away and hide out of line of sight someplace and make him run to me? That's what I'm going to have to do. That, or I jump, like, right in his face and shoot him with a bunch more missiles with evasion and do the same thing to him. If I did that, what's our odds? 70, 60, 60, 60. I'm only going to get one more volley here. We got 14, we got 8, 16 missiles total, and we fire 14 every time. So, what's our right torso still looking okay? Our arm... We can't lose the right arm. 
because then we'll only have the missiles, and I guess we'll also still have melee. We also still have the death from above. That could be an interesting way to go out. God, I need to do another called shot, but I can't. What's our morale? 16. I think I need 20. Actually, I can't remember what I need. Um. So I run up here and get the evasion, but he's got too many shots. I don't like it. I think I actually want to jump away and let him come to me. Yeah, jump back here. Just buy some time. He's taking a little bit of damage because he's overheated anyway. Okay, fantastic. Now, let's just brace while we're out here. We're doing this, guys. We're doing this. Okay. Ready for orders. It's like a cat and mouse game. So I could move up and he can't see me. I get some evasion. He still can't see me, I think. And we could brace again. Perfect. That's what I want. Brace. Come at me, friend. Just get close enough that I can jump behind you. Make a stupid, super hyper-aggressive move. He's getting aggressive. It's for 20. 12, 12, 12. Can't take two more of those. I'm under heavy fire. Okay. Top of the turn. Orders. Top of the turn. Question. Can I melee? No. Can I death from above? No. Can I get in his face and hit him with 4,000 missiles? Yes. Will that win me the game? Probably not. It's his center torso. Oh, right there is where I really need to hit. Ooh, LRM ammo, too, from the back. That's so what I need to do. That is so what I need to do. Let's get closer. If I come here, though, he can jump behind us and shoot us in the back. Let's go here so the next turn we can do that to him. Um... I gotta keep my right arm, though. Well, if I lose the SRM ammo, I need my left torso as well. I need everything on it. Well, let's keep the left torso more than anything. So, let's focus the right arm so he takes the bait and tries to shoot that a little bit. Maybe like here-ish. We will indeed pop the Vigilance. Fantastic. We definitely, 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 definitely need that. Or should I precision strike? I don't think so. Because I want to get behind him and get one big shot. So let's do the vigilance, though, because we're definitely going to need to take less damage here. And we are going to take a shot, but we're not going to shoot any of the missiles. I'm going to I'll shoot these two because we have uh, those extra. But we're going to wait till next turn to really unload on his back. Okay, for 25 and 8 and 8. Not very much. Let's see what he does. As long as we don't lose our missiles or guns, we might have a chance here. Is he going to melee us? He is. <gasps> Woo, good for 80. But we're okay. I think, he, I think he ran out of ammo there. What the hell has this come to? Okay. Now, here's the plan. We're going to move up behind him here. Get the elevation, I believe... 90, 90, 70, 70, 70. What if I went here? 90, 90, 70. Why is it all 70, 70, 70? It's all 70s. Why is it all 70s? I was up here. Okay, what if I just jumped? Because I can do that, too. Jump here. Still 70s. I'm not sure. Oh, is it the evasion? Yeah, he's got two evasion. All right. That's what it is. Nothing we can do about that. We just need to get behind him. We'll give a little bit of space between him and us. I think I will go up here for no good reason. Uh, right above him. Right above him, guys. Here it is. This is so ridiculous. 28, 55, 17. Fantastic. We're going to turn everything on. All of our final missiles, our lasers, medium, small, everything. Everything we've got. Hit center mass and crit the ammo racks. But he's foolishly stored in there for some reason. Pray for luck. Miranda fire. Oh my god, LRM ammo explosion! Oh, ammo destroyed! Pilot injured! Oh, center god. torso dead! Victory! Vic! Tree! You wanna throw an Atlas, four heavy mechs, a bunch of freaking ridiculous vehicles at me and surprise me all the while? Fine! I'll kill them all! I don't care! I'm gonna lose Jessica and probably Decker, but I mean, god, they couldn't have died more heroic deaths!
They couldn't have died more heroic deaths. Ooh. Mission successful. Oh my god, think of that last shot. He had 30 armor in the back and a full health center torso, and we just ammo racked him with the with the ammo rack in the center torso. And we had debate. We had debate everywhere. Everywhere. I do feel that when Jessica got knocked down and destroyed at the end, that was a little like the, the guy who shot her had three evasion he was going against. He hit every single shot. Uh it seemed like he was just hitting a little too hard there. I mean, not too, too hard, a little too luckily, but whatever, that's fine. Bad luck. Uh, 875,000, click. Killed. No, Jessica was killed in action. I could have ejected her too, but the thing is she needed to, I literally would have lost if I ejected her because we only barely, and I mean, Barely managed to pull off a victory there with Miranda at the end. That one last shot, one more round, that guy would have blown off our lasers, blown up our ammo rack. I'm surprised our ammo rack didn't blow up in the first place. Like we were, we were gonna lose that if if Jessica didn't stand there and distract that guy uh, for Miranda to to reposition and get in and do stuff and whatever. Like oh wow, wow, my favorite character killed in action, but what a heroic death. Jaeger mech obliterated Goliath. Ricky took a beating. My Vindicator, yeah, my Vindicator did a lot of good for sure. For sure. Atlas just walks up the hill. It's like, called shot. Like, look at this. I'm 100% healthy everywhere. And my center torso is just gone. Freaking Atlas, though. What the hell? How did that thing appear out of nowhere? The first assault mech I see. I guess there's only, are there only like two assault mechs? The Atlas and the King Crab. Is that right? Wow. I don't know, maybe there's more, but regardless, I was not... This was a... What was it? This a three and a half star? Yeah, this was three and a half star. So the last three and a half star battle I did was a Jenner and like a Wolverine or something. And this one was an Atlas, three max tier vehicles, two Jaeger mechs, uh, and whatever the heck those other two medium heavies were. I can't remember. Decker, however, did not die 94 days. I'm out for 94 days. And Miranda somehow is only out for 17. Jessica, fare ye well. Fare ye well, Jessica. You will not be forgotten. Whew. God, look at the kills of Miranda. Three mechs, two tanks. That was insane. Stupid Jaeger mech. Should never have put you in it. It's just, it's so pathetically weakly armored. Would have been better off with anything else, I think. Atlas. Yoink. I'll take that. I know that the other thing is we disabled the Jaeger mech completely. So I've got four Jaeger mechs here. Which is interesting because wasn't it in the last episode or one of the more recent episodes where I disabled the Jaeger mech, then I killed the Jaeger mech, but I only had two after the fact and loot. And this time I disabled one and then killed one. Did I disable the first one or the second one? I don't know. Maybe I disabled the second one then and then it worked. It's bugged one way or the other, though. Um, well, we're one third of the way to an Atlas, I guess. Look at look at what they were fielding against us there. AC20, 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 LRM20, LRM10, large laser. And this is just the stuff that survived, presumably. Medium laser, plus three accuracy, 50 crit. Wow. Medium laser, plus, plus, plus. That's really good, but I'd rather get the Atlas sooner, to be honest. Oh, no. Particle cannon that could replace the one we lost. Or maybe that is the one we lost. I don't know. Whatever, I don't care. Particle cannon sniping is kind of lame. Ooh, what is this? TTS plus two accuracy missile. Huh. TTS plus three accuracy ballistic. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's all. This is all really good stuff, but I'm just going to go with the Atlas, I think. You got a Jaeger mech and a bunch of garbage. All right, so the obvious question is, why didn't I just leave that mission when I was, like, clearly overwhelmed? And the, the reason is I didn't want to. I wanted to have a good fight for once in this game. For God's sakes, it's the whole game I've just been cruising through. That was a fight worth having. I finalized the details of our trip to R2, Commander Wins. With luck, the map Dr. Mira discovered will lead us straight to Castle Nautilus. 
The contract is ready for review in the command center. Glitch has died. Oh. That is sad. The other thing is I haven't actually done uh, promotions forever. I just figured who cares? It doesn't matter. It's like not that relevant. And then wouldn't you know, <laughs> it actually does matter. Um, well, I guess, you know, someone else can take a f to step up to fill the roles. So I've got 5,900 experience. Um, I guess I'll just hold on to it because I probably want to go the next piloting tier, more likely. Uh, let's see. Hey. Buckshot's got nothing. Reporting. Laceleaf has got 5,000. I think he seems to be the guy who does a de decent amount of shooting, so let's give him some shooting. He does end up always doing that. What do we got up here? Let's give him some guts, too. Everyone needs the hit points, and I think that's going to be good for him. Mech warrior training complete. Receiving you. Over here in Medusa, 6,900. Wow, that's a lot. I don't care about the heat for him so much. Um, you know, the called shot just, it really makes a big difference. And he seems to be a half-decent tank, so I think we'll give him that. Should I come up through here, or should I go... Yeah, I should probably do that and go for the breaching shot for him. Looks good. Training confirmed, Commander. Marty Stomp! That's good to go. Marty Stomp has even got... So oh, Marty Stomp! The Juggernauts! Welcome, Marty Stomp. Training Welcome complete. to the Juggernaut. That is fantastic. Uh, who's left? Surf. Receiving you. Surf Teeter, uh, I don't really know what Surf is going to do. He seemed to have a lot of indirect fire, but I don't care so much about uh, Sensor Lock. I kind of want the evasion if he's going to be like a, a... He could be like the new Jessica running around with evasion. Let's do that. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am, as they say. Mac plus one max evasion. Love it. And then we can also get another 15% to hit up there. Awesome. Mech Warrior training complete. Woo! What's up with me? I got 59. Oh, he already went through me. Let's go check the mech bay. Um, so, we're going to have a dragon, a Kentaro, and a Centurion. The Centurion is super long-range missile boat. I love it. Dragon's kind of like a random thing here. Let's go take a look at how long it's going to take us to get where we need to go. Grave robbing. Priority mission. It's going to take us 22 days. We've got 24 days until the report. So we can do that and not go broke. Uh, this is a three strength priority mission. Travel to R2 and loot the castle. All right, 22 days. I could stay here. Capture base, no thank you. I could do this easy two and a half battle. But honestly, I don't want to. I don't care. Assassinate. I haven't done an assassinate, but this is a totally different region. Where is this? R2. I want to go look at the um, star map. 2.2 million on that one. Travel contract. Wait, I can't be right. It's got to be down here, right? Ah, yes. Way in there. Artru. Okay. That's only two and a half difficulty right now. So let's try to gear up our mech bay for 22 days of repairs. So first and foremost, yeah, we're going to blow all of our money and we're going to get there in 22 days uh, with two days to spare. We're going to have to do the priority mission like immediately. The Vindicator is actually not that bad off. I just lost two jump jets. Let's refit it. It's just the center torso got blown out by that ridiculous Atlas. So replace and equipment. Jump jet. Jump jet. Beautiful. That barely even takes any time. Barely even takes any time. Confirm. Three days. Awesome. Hello? Logged and noted. Boy, that took a while. Shouldn't All right. Too hard. The Goliath. Lost. What did it lose? SRM ammo? That's not that much. It's actually not bad. You know what? That's actually fine because I can put it now in the uh, in the leg here. How long would this take to repair up? Amazingly, three days. The beating Miranda took. It's only going to take three days to fix that up. Okay. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, this Centurion, I like it a lot. LRM, 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 LRM. We got LRM 20, 10, and 15. The only thing I'm worried about is actually the heat on that, but eh, it'll be fine for a long-range uh, engagement. This Jaeger mech, boy, that thing got wrecked, and I don't even like it that much. I may just scrap it. It's not all that useful for my purposes. I really think the indirect fire is way better. In fact, I'm going to do that just to save the money on it. Scrap for sea bills, 472,000. Sure. 
Uh, and then lastly, we've got the Thunderbolt. <laughs> Look at this. Lost its arm, torso, torso, arm, leg. This was Decker's heroic death from above. Oh, that was freaking hilarious. Was it worth it to lose two particle cannons, a plus and a plus plus? Ah, it was just fun. Who cares? I don't even like those particle cannons. Speaking of, do I have any more? I don't. I only have basic ones. So I should probably take a minute here to think this through. I might, I might just end up going like full lasers on it. And here we go. This is actually a pretty good setup for this Thunderbolt. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lasers on it, medium style. That's going to generate 70 heat per turn. However, we sink 30 heat normally, and I've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 heat sinks, which basically evaporates all of that. We got an SRM 4 as well, just because it's fairly light. A little bit of ammo for it. Uh, and that's it. And I got maximum armor all around. No jump jets. But because we have maximum armor, I think we're pretty strong here. I am kind of considering throwing on a couple of small lasers as well. Just to, like, really get that extra punch when we get close to something. They, don't, they only weigh, like, 0.5, right? Yeah, so... You know what? I think I actually will do... Oh, I only have one. Well, I guess I can do this one over here as well. Yeah, sure. And then we'll uh, adjust the armor accordingly. A little bit lower on the legs. But otherwise, the top of the mech is almost 100. We got 98 out of 100, 98 out of 100. But otherwise really solid all around. Okay, this seems fairly decent, but I'm guessing it's going to take forever. 19 days? Yeah. All right, that's fine. We'll just confirm it. 421,000. Wow. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, so that's going to be everything, and let's go hit up the engineering ship upgrades. I suppose we did the power systems, improved power conduits. Thought we already did that. Oh, is it the money that I'm lacking? Yeah, it's 700 and... Nope, I actually have the money for it. Interesting. So I have the money. Requires improved power conduits. Improved... Oh, it's upgrading. Oh, I thought we were done when we got here. Is that not true? Okay, we got four more days. I guess I must have done something else. Well... Uh, let's go hit up the uh, plot mission, friends. Time for some grave robbing. 22 days Roger fly. Course plotted. Woo! <laughs> uh, this was a fun mission. We're nearly broke, Commander. Yeah. I wonder how many times he said that in this series, honestly. Hey, boss. We've just completed those upgrades. Okay. Conduits are done. Travel 18 days. We're going to get there in 20 days. That's fine. Let's go throw in some more ship upgrades here. Now that we got... Oh, wait. Should we do the power conduits now? Improve power conduits? No effect to it, really. Replacing all of them with high-capacity cabling unlocks the ship's full potential. But what does that mean? 30 days as well to do that one. The structure is additionally 30 days. Drive systems. Travel time to and from jump points reduced by 20 days. That could actually be minorly useful. <gasps> I could do the mech bay... But it's 2.2 million. So I would like to do it just to get the four tech points. I don't care about the costs or the extra mechs or anything. What about the med bays? I'm actually, I want to do the med bays, but that requires a beta pod. I want to get the medical points. So to get a beta pod, it's going to take us 900,000, which we don't have. It says I can purchase it. Can I actually go negative? Will it let me? Or will I immediately lose the game? Okay. Before I find out the hard way here, let's save... If I lose the game, if it lets me lose the game by clicking a purchase, you do not have enough funds to purchase this. Okay. You think it would just gray it out, but. Yeah, so it's looking like you need a beta pod for all of these upgrades. You need a beta pod for this. Oh, we have another one over here, a machine shop. Oh, I didn't know that. Mech Bay 3. Yeah, so I guess they add new, I wish they just showed you everything from the very beginning, like. Training modules. That requires a beta pod as well. Everything seems to re revolve around the beta pod. Structural reinforcement. Maybe I'll just do power conduits, I suppose. 720, we can afford it. Good, done. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Hit the road, Jack. Our 
nest egg is just about gone, Commander. Ooh. Travelers in need. In the daily briefing, Sumiri brings up an open hail from a nearby ship. They say their crew has contracted a virulent case of the periphery pox, but the local government is preventing them from landing to receive medical care. Darius shrugs. We could sell them some of our medical supplies. It would limit us in the med bay for a bit, but given their situation, I'd expect they'd pay up. Dr. Mirad bristles at this suggestion. Spacious should stick together, Commander. Besides, the local authorities might appreciate our generosity. So sell them medical supplies for 30,000. Give them medical supply. I don't even care about 30,000. I'll just gonna give it to them. Pox antiviral. Share the antivirals you've acquired. How the hell would I acquire those? Interesting. Let's just give them some supply. I don't even want 30,000. It's pathetic. Eunotic Dr. Murad, we're only one bad bug away from the same situation ourselves. Make arrangements for transfer of supplies. Several days later, Samiri passes along a message of thanks from the planet's surface for resolving the situation favorably. The company suffers a minus one medical point for 14 days. You gain one reputation with a Taurian Concordat. All right. Something, I guess. I mean, uh, Miranda's going to be back in action anyway, but Decker and myself are going to be 99 days, really? Wow. The both of us? <laughs> I feel like that was bugged. That seems... I thought we both were at like 97 or 95, and now we're up. Oh! Probably because it went up because the medical skill went down. I see. We're almost completely out of cash. We got eight days. What are you talking about? Only owe a million dollars. Don't worry about it, Darius. Miranda's return to duty. Fantastic. One day. We're in. We're in like Flynn, friends. In like Flynn. Uh, no, let's not do the, the contract just yet. Financial report in two days. And the Thunderbolt's actually going to be done in three. Well, I obviously can't wait for it, so not that I particularly care about it. I think you could pull it out, though, can't you? Because I think this stuff actually gets done. Yeah, so all this, all this stuff is already done, like all the check marks. So if we were to pull it out right now, if I wanted to for some reason, uh, the only thing we wouldn't have is a heat sink installed in the left leg. Install a heat sink in the left leg, right torso component, left... Oh, yeah. Just a bunch of heat sinks is all. And a lot of that's going to be done like any second, but we definitely um, don't really need it, I don't think. So let's take a look here at our navigation star map. Yep, we have gone deep into enemy territory. Two and a half stars, Artru. Artru is a calm star presence. Calm star maintains a presence in this world beyond the skeleton staff needed to operate the HPG arrays. Mining, periphery level, small pop, ice world, low gravity. Okay. Seems pretty lame if you ask me. Let's take a look at their contracts. Probably won't be sticking. No contracts. I guess once we liberate it, we'll get some contracts, right? Take a look at their store. Can we even trade with them while we're enemies? Yes. We can. They've got LRM 15 plus, LRM 55 or 5 plus plus, medium laser, accuracy crit, article, SRM 2, and that's it. Not very much there, I'll say. Not very much. Whew! I gotta be honest, I was getting kind of bored of this game after the last few missions, and now I am very, very much excited to keep playing. That was a hell of a fun time. Good lord. Although, to be fair, it's probably only fun because I got immediately and, like, summarily executed in, like, two seconds. Had that not happened, the one extra... I mean, I basically fought all of those guys with three mechs. So, had that not happened, it probably would have been a pushover. But, regardless, fun times! Uh, anywho, in the next mission, it's going to be time for some kind of... Uh, plot, or whatever. Um, raiding our true base, whatever it is. But, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. He's crit the ammo racks, but he's foolishly stored in there for some reason. Pray for luck! Miranda Fire! Oh my god, LRM ammo explosion! Ammo destroyed! Pilot injured! Center torso dead! Victory! Victory!